to get you from your working week and into your weekend. I know we've heavily been talking about breaking news and politics, and of course I'll keep you updated. But I wanted to talk to you and take a minute out of the political chat to talk to you about a story that caught my eye this week that I thought was so lovely, I of course I wanted to share it with you. A South East London girl has written a book about the life of a young girl with Afro hair. Tiana, who is eight years old, has written My Afro Twin Best Friends in the hope that it will inspire other girls to love who they are. And I am wildly impressed that an eight-year-old has such dedication and commitment to sit there and write the entire book. So I thought, of course, we have to talk to her. I have Tiana and her mother, Dorothy, on the line with me, joining us here. Hello, Tiana. Hi, guys. Hello, Hannah. Hello, Dorothy. Hello. Thank you both for being here. Thank you for taking the time to talk to me. Tiana, tell me a little bit, why did you want to write this book? I wanted to write this book because I found that in my class, there wasn't any other person with the same hair as me except for my best friend, Faith. And mm. when it came to getting my hair done, it really, really hurt. Mm. And I love writing a lot, so I decided to write short stories, and one of them was my afro that hoping to inspire black girls to love their hair and love themselves and also for other people to know the struggles that some people go through with big afro hair like these and did you when you you know before you wrote this book tiana did you find stories in the library did you find because you you love books i'm guessing did you find books in the library that had characters with afro hair in or I never saw anything like that. I never saw, when I've read a book, I've never saw anyone with Afro hair like mine or even the same skin colour. Mm. Um, which is really hard, isn't it? That's hard not to see yourself in, in all the stories that you love reading. You you just said there, Tiana, that you you know you had your, your best friend in, in your in your class. What did she think about the book? Well, she's no longer in the school, so... Oh, no. Yeah. Did she? Did you get to give her the book, or did she get to read it? I'm not sure, no, um, but she knows that I've made a book. Well, then I'm sure she'll, she'll read it at some point. Now that you've written it, Tiana, obviously you're a rock star. How does it feel <laughs> now that you've got a book out in the world that people can read? I felt very proud that I've got to make this book and show the world a strong message about hair and about nationality. And I feel very happy that I can share the book as such a young age. I'm really happy with myself. And I'm really surprised that I've made this book, but it's here. <laughs> it is here indeed. Congratulations. It's amazing. I've written a book, Tiana, and it's really hard to do, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. You've done amazing to write it. I assume you're going to write more books, right? Yeah, definitely. Do you know what your next one's going to be about? Yes, because I've made many other books and we're hoping to publish the second one And because that was my favourite one. Mm. And that was my second favourite one, so I'm planning to publish it soon. I like it. Can you can you tell us what it's going to be about, or is it top secret classified information? It's going to be a surprise. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> that is exactly the way to go. Keep them wanting more. Keep them guessing. Tiana, don't give it all away. And since you've written the book, Tiana, what have people said to you about it? The people that you that you know that have read it, whether that's your teachers or your classmates or your your family, of course, your mum. What what have people said to you since? since you've written it? They've been supporting me so much. My teachers know it and they've been saying well done. They've been constantly saying well done because they're so proud of me. Absolutely. And I've had messages all over Facebook supporting me and saying well done as well. And also there were little black girls and also just children saying that they love the book absolutely. So I'm mm. really happy about that. 
I that's extraordinary. Well done, you, Jen, and congratulations. I can't wait until Hollywood comes knocking on your door and they make it into a movie, and then they'll make mm. all your books into a movie, and then that'll be amazing. Um, Dorothy, Mum, you must be so proud. I am I'm absolutely so so proud of Tia, and I can't even put that in words. Um, yes, I am. I am very proud of TT. I saw this coming. I mean, I've seen her starting to show so much interest in writing since she was three years old. So, yeah, so I'm you, glad it's here Yeah, now. you knew that this was the way to go, that this was what she wanted to do. Uh, how did you help her in this process and uh, in, in getting the book published? So prior to getting the book published, I um, registered all of my children on this course called Mrs. Wordsmith. Okay. Um, it's an incredibly uh, creative word, word wizard sort of course where it just helps children use their creativity. And she started when she was three with flashcards. So that was just me building up their uh, vocabulary, building their understanding, their English. And I could see Tia took more interest than everyone else. And she started writing really tiny stories on every single paper she picked up at home. So I, I could <laughs> see the writer coming through. And during lockdown, she gave me three copies of um, a book she had made. She stapled just A4 papers and made three books. Right. And of the three books, I submitted to um, Conscious Dreams Publishing and said, my daughter's passionate about writing. These are her three stories. Which one do you guys think could, you know, stand out for a publication? And they came back immediately and said my Afro, you know, because they could see the message. Mm. Uh, yeah, that's from, we just took it from there, myself and uh, Daniela at Conscious Dreams Publishing. Incredible. Uh, Tiana, are you going to be a writer for, you know, your career or do you want to do something else? I think because I'm here now and I love writing a lot, I think that's going to be on the side. I think I'm still going to keep being an author. But I want to be so many things. I want to be a doctor, I want to be a designer and I want to be a journalist as well. <laughs> Well, listen, as a journalist, <laughs> let me tell you something. <laughs> it is tiring work. I feel like we don't sleep much. But, I mean, they're, they're all great ambitions, though. It sounds mm -hmm. like, because journalists also tell stories, don't they? This is what we do. We tell a story yeah. of something. We tell it in different ways, but we tell a story. It sounds like you are a natural-born storyteller, Tiana. <laughs> yeah, and I also love speaking a lot. Well, you see, you can tell oral stories as well. <laughs> Listen, sack off the doctor, okay? Doctor will make you more money, 100%. You'll get more money. There's not that much money in, in being an author unless you become, yeah. unless you write something like Harry Potter, which, to be honest, Tiana, at this stage, I think you could. And you're starting early as well. You're eight years old now, so you're starting early. So by the time you need to pay bills, you'll be you'll be fine. So forget about being a doctor. It's lots of long hours. Um and you don't get to tell as many stories, although you can talk to your patients and tell them stories. I think maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe, um, maybe you're starting young, so you'll you'll bank enough money and you can just keep writing books. And then one day, when your name is all over the papers or you've won the Booker Prize, I'll say, you know, when she was eight, I did the first interview with her. I've already talked to her, and then I'll Yay. and then I'll play them this. All right, <laughs> Tiana, remarkable. Congratulations on the publication of your book and on being an author. If people want to read your book, how can they do that? Um, so it's on Amazon for eight ninety nine, so they can buy it on there. Amazing. And I, I think on all other um, online book bookshops and physical bookshops as well. So yeah, it's it's all over. It's everywhere. My Afro Twin Best Friends is all you need to type in and you'll find it. And you can support Tiana, who's starting her writing career at eight years old, which, quite frankly, it's a good time to start. Tiana, you've been glorious. I've loved talking to you. Thank you for chatting to me this afternoon and the very best of luck with it. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank oh. you for having us as well. Yeah. No, it's uh, my absolute pleasure. Don't forget, Tiana, don't become a doctor. You'll, you'll, be wasted, you'll, be wasted. you'll be wasted in hospital. All right, take care. Lots of love and congratulations. Again, that's Tiana, eight-year-old Tiana there, right, um, telling me about her book, My Afro Twin Best Friends. Remarkable. I'm trying to think what I was doing at eight years old and if I was doing anything useful at the age of eight. Honestly, I think I was climbing a tree. Or writing things that were horrendous and that were nowhere near as good as Tiana's work and would definitely not have been published. There's some pretty cringeworthy things in my archives. But that's what's extraordinary about this 
little girl. She is headed for the stars, I'll tell you that much. Welcome to the programme if you're joining us now. Earlier on, I talked to one of our...